Hey guys, and welcome back to more World of Gun Gun Disassembly. We're doing the game modes for M107 Barrette. If you don't know how game modes work, you have to complete um, the disassembly while meeting certain criteria. Here it's Sniper and Serenity. Serenity is just not clicking too many things. Sniper is clicking all the pieces and not any incorrect pieces. Pretty much you have to click everything in order. So, you wouldn't actually have to, but you get a score based on your time, based on three factors: the time you complete, and if you completed using those factors. So, anyway, we'll disassemble. We got those two. So we got the mid lock. We got the rear assembly. We got the upper receiver complete. Pull off the entire upper receiver. We remove the bolt. The bolt's kind of one of the more complicated things here. Has a couple pieces first. You have to pull off the bolt latch assembly before you can pull the bolt. Okay. Second thing, you gotta pull out. Oop! I moved the camera. Accelerator spring before you can pull out the accelerator. Also, don't move the camera like I did because it's one of the easiest things to screw up. Okay. Then this back one you have to move first. It's a sear lever assembly. Then the back one you can move. Oh, I'm scaring myself that camera kind of rotation. Once the sear assembly is out, you can pull out the bolt carrier pin. Which will allow you to pull out the firing pin. And then underneath here there's a cam as well you have to pull out. So cam pin assembly. Okay. Also here you have the ejector and you have the extractor. So I'm gonna quickly pull these so I don't remember them. Or for don't forget them rather. It's the yoke mount assembly one and yoke mount assembly two. Moving to the back of the gun. We have the lock knob assembly, got the mono foot pad assembly, and it will disassemble itself here. Okay, rear hand grip assembly, got the recoil pad assembly, then we got the pistol stock assembly. Okay, so moving in kind of from the top area, or the back, main spring assembly, just so you can see better, that's why I rotated. If you're going for time, don't rotate like that. Transfer bar assembly, you can dismantle the transfer bar. Trigger assembly. Trigger has one piece there. You can pull out the safety. And this can be pulled out at any time, but it's the magazine catch assembly. Okay? So then pull off the carrying handle. Carrying handle can be disassembled there. A couple pieces here to assemble. There's a front sight assembly. It doesn't have any pieces on it, you move it, it's good. Same front catch assembly. Rear sight's a little bit different. So you move the rear sight body, so then you have your, your sight scale, and then you have to have your aperture. Make sure you click on the aperture, not on the scale, else you'll lose your sniper. The front of the gun, we have the muzzle brake. Once the muzzle brake is removed, you move the barrel. Anytime, you can have to do this first if you really would like. So we got barrel assembly. Don't click too early here, else you might lose sniper and you might lose serenity. If you haven't done too much clicking, you won't lose serenity, but always best to wait for things to completely disassemble before you click the next piece. Barrel key assembly, barrel spring one, barrel spring two, 12 pieces, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're missing one piece somewhere. Let's see what we forgot. So I remember to take about the chance bar, I remember that. Throwing pin, I think everything here got disassembled. So what would be my two pieces that I got forgotten? This is all one piece. I didn't forget anything in here, for sure. Doesn't look like it. I got my extractor and my ejector. I took both legs off of there. Move both of those. Oh, probably forgot to remove the rear sight base detent. Do not forget to remove the rear sight base detent, else you cannot put the gun the gun back together. 
put all these screws back in the Picatinny rail. I still don't think I'm saying it right. If you know what it's called, feel free to correct me. I would like to know how to say it correctly so I stop being like an idiot. But it's hard to find a good pronunciation on the internet because I don't know which one is right there as well. But put back together rear sight aperture, rear sight scale assembly, and the rear sight body. We still got sniper, by the way, guys. Okay. Barrel spring one. Barrel spring two. I always want to turn it so you can't accidentally click the wrong piece. Sometimes you like just miss and you click a piece in the distance, and sometimes that can cost you. Barrel assembly. Wait till it comes to rest. It will become unhighlighted and it'll disappear from the bottom when it's done. Let's see. Okay. See, it's not quite done. Done. Okay, so now you know you're safe to click the next piece. Can okay, handle assembly. Can okay, handle. It also should be highlighted, but I wouldn't generally go with the highlighted thing. It's generally less reliable. So, magazine catch. Safety. Put back together our trigger. Okay, this is a bad thing. You actually have to click on the transfer bar. You can't click on the pieces. That's like opposite to like everything you do in World of Guns, but that's the way it works. Put in the main spring assembly. Okay, so put back on the pistol stock and grip. The rear hand grip assembly. Recoil pad assembly. Monopod foot assembly. And then the knob. Knob goes in last. Okay. Let me put back in the yoke mount 2. And the yoke mount 1. Okay, so now. Did you remember the order for this? So it's cam first. Then it's firing pin. Bolt carrier. Um. Pretty sure sear assembly. Then sear lever. Accelerator. Oh god! I didn't even. I was trying to stop my brain before I clipped it. But I couldn't. Couldn't stop it. it was. I knew that wasn't the right piece. <laughs> My brain still clicked it, or my body clicked it. My brain was like, no, please don't. Then we will get Sniper on Hardcore Game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, we got a assembled so we can put it back in the bolt carrier assembly. Up receiver. Mid lock. Rear assembly. By pub leg. Bipod leg two, and then put the bipod yoke back on. One, well, I guess it's four pieces, but it's pretty much one piece magazine. Boom, complete. So that's our game mode. We had a pretty long time there, but it's doing a lot of explaining and stuff. Expert top three. We even got top three for that performance. Was holy crap! People took more than that to complete. That's not a hard gun to assemble. So, anyway, I tend to get it on a hardcore game, All that. only one guy, and I think only him, he completed it um, in Super Game. So Super Game I might contract, or so I concentrate a little bit more and see if I can get um, first place. Plus Super Game is always a good one to concentrate on if you're going to concentrate on any of them. Oop. That's so quick. I've got about... I haven't done, I've done this in so long, I forgot about super fast reflexes. So the little circle will start, and you have to click in the circle, and it will speed up the disassembly. It's one thing that makes um, Super Game a little bit faster. I actually like it. It adds a little bit more to Super Game. Before it was just clicking on parts, and there's a lot of suspense. It's like, did you click the wrong part? I hope not. Oh, so we're kicking you out, and you have to redo the whole thing. Yeah, that's a... That's the gimmick in Super Game. If you click the wrong thing, it totally kicks you out and you totally have to restart. So. Bolt latch. Bolt assembly. Cellar spring. 
that later. Some of them are pretty quick, so you have to really be on your toes. Some of them don't have them, some of them have them and are really quick. Some are a little bit slower. It kind of has to do with the speed at which um, the part removes. I hate when the camera rotates like that. Like, makes me want to pee my pants or something. And the camp underneath. Okay. So that's completely just. Oh, no. So I've got the ejector and the extractor. Okay. The yoke one and two, or two and one. Either way, doesn't much matter. Lock knob. Oop, mix that one. You want to get above 70% there. Okay. The pull pad. Pistol grip. Stock. Main spring. Transfer bar. Transfer bar. Trigger. There. Safety. Magazine catch. Okay, we're good. So that's disassembled. So we just got this piece. So it's, you can see how much faster it is already, actually. And I'm doing less explaining, which always helps as well. But some of these longer pieces really get sped up. Like, that's quite a long piece. Same with this one. And if you can speed up at all, it's a pretty good time saver. Do these have? They do. Okay. Sights. Okay. Move the Versa base detent. Scale. Aperture. Victini. I think that's 10 pieces. And that's the rail off. Okay, so put the rail back on. We probably will get first here actually. We're really booky and pretty good. As long as I don't fail putting back together the bolt like last time. Oop, didn't get that as set. Acceleration, which is fine. Barrel spring, barrel spring. And this one first, yep. Yeah. Then the barrel. Don't. That's one disassembly you don't want to miss because it takes so long. Especially some of these are super long. If you miss it, it's slow, so it's hard to miss it, but. Painful when you do miss it if you click too early or anything. Super painful. Okay, so that's all done. It's, oh yeah, well I can still screw up here if I click the wrong piece. Remember, if you click the wrong piece, you're instantly done. You don't get a chance to think. Jump bar, jump bar. Put the magazine catch back on. So that's good. Make spring. Another slow one you don't want to miss. Okay, so we got pistol grip, recall pad, make sure you put in this before the knob, I wasn't paying attention, I was just thinking of that I didn't really want to fail that badly. That's seriously what I was thinking. It was, I was like, I don't really want to fail here. Sometimes I think that and I miss the pieces. So. It's fine. I'll get 70%. I'm at 92, so not much chance I'm gonna fail out. Of that, I could fail the mission by putting the wrong thing, like right here. But I'm sure in what my order is. So cam, firing pin. No? Really? What goes in first? Oh, I know what goes in first. That's why I should really, really resemble that second. I'm gonna leave that in because it's always fun to leave in. I find one super game failure. So we can do this really quick now. Now we know what we're doing. We can do it really quick. 
so there, there, here, here, and this, oh, I don't know, it's just the angle is there, I couldn't really see it. Okay, I'm gonna do it last so I don't forget any pieces. That's a kind of tough one, though. It's tough on the old mind, on the old noggin, as they say. Okay, I do it in a different order than I usually do it, but that's fine. Nothing's wrong with a little bit of change. Well, I don't accidentally click on the frame and then lose. Tight body. If you rotate the camera at all, you lose it. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but not much you can do. I was glad that didn't count as a rotation in a camera because that's a long one. You don't want to use any long ones. They actually cost you a lot of time usually as well. Lock knob. Monopad foot. Nico pad. Real hand. This is dark. You need to move this right now. It's really pretty much any time. Main spring. Transfer bar. Oh, missed my transfer bar. Trigger assembly. Disconnector. Safety. Not one, you're about two. I think I got everything else. So this is one, so. Start with accelerator spring. Um, oh, I always pull out the bolt early here as well. Okay, accelerator. No, oh, no, no, no. You can click on it as long as you don't decide to take it out. So this thing gets, if you get used to playing this game a lot, you automatically just don't click everything. And that's when you get failures and death and destruction and mayhem. And should only be four parts, which hopefully blow all of that. Nope, missing two parts. That happens to me all the time, and I'm pretty sure it is this part right there, because that's what I often forget. So put it back in, because if you forgot a part once, you're going to fail yet again, is always my view on that stuff. Put that in. The cat. Okay, so don't forget this bolt carrier pin this time. So remember the bolt carrier pin, then it's sear. Your lever. I'm pretty sure this that's all part of the accelerator. Feller spring. Ejector. Oop, I missed the ejector one. Extractor. Bolt assembly. Okay. Well, we got that together. So that's one thing. This is the only one that you could really screw up. This connector. Trigger. Transfer bar. Oops, camera moved. I moved the camera like crazy there. Like a crazy person. Okay, so let's move forward into these ones. Oops, a second too early. And that's going to cost me like over a second. But that's how the cookie crumbles. Or doesn't crumble depending on what kind of cookie it is. I just don't like the saying that's how the cookie crumbles. I kind of feel bad for using it. It's just such an overused saying in it. What does it even mean? Like what does that's how the cookie crumble even mean? Like really. If I was going to say that to you, like it's kind of a that is life thing, but I like, like, 
that's how life goes better than that's how the cookie crumbles. Ooh, I apologize for a little burp there. Pick a titty roll. Again, if you know how to say that, let me know. I don't want to know. I never know how to pronounce it. I looked it up and it's still... Like, the phonetics aren't really clear. It's not like a word that's really in the dictionary that often either. So, oh god. Move the camera and killed it. Oops. And then I killed that, so now I'm losing even more time. Okay, carrying candle. Where are we at now? I think we're at full care assembly. The upper receiver complete. Mid lock, rear lock, bipod leg two, bipod leg one, bipod yoke, and magazine. Okay, let's see if we got first place. I don't know how fast that other guy did it in. Oh, I lost Serenity. Well, I'm definitely not getting it if I lost Serenity. Like, I can throw those hopes away. Hmm, I didn't even realize Lost Serenity. Oh, holy shit, he did it in four minutes. I could, don't think I could do it in four minutes, that's really quick. I might be able to do it in six minutes, 14 seconds, but I don't think I could do it in four minutes. Might be able to do it that way. Well, let's hop the hardcore. I think I might be able to do hardcore. Hardcore, you just click them and the parts pull off. So we're going to have to do a little bit of experimenting here though. Which with parts we can pull off when. That one will have to be pulled off. We can do that one, that one, that one, that one, this one. All those ones at the same time. We can do this one. We can do this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, probably the barrel, here, there, 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 nope, can't pull that quick, hmm, what was I waiting for to pull that off? Oh, you had to wait for that one, uh, okay. Well, we know more. It's kind of a knowing which pieces can be pulled off when kind of thing for a lot of these. So there's some, some trial and error definitely in it. But it's interesting either way. I'm kind of giving you a doubt, more of a downtown look or a down and look of how this works. Usually I'm a lot more like I just kind of do it and don't explain it. But I think you guys deserve to know kind of how it works. Here, 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 this one, this one, this one, that one, this one, barrel, pull that out, cut that out, so I can pull this out, okay, and pull that out, this one, this one, this one, this one, those are pulled out. I think I can go here, 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 and then go here. I got that one, so probably that one, that one, here, here, here. Like, it's a lot of thinking of, like, which pieces come out when. But you can kind of keep track of everything. I didn't want that! Got, see? It's gotten away. Now you have to restart. Like, there's no other means. So it can be frustrating sometimes doing it because it's like, I had it there. That's just, oh. And then, then you, like, are talking to your YouTube audience and you click the wrong thing and then you have to wait for it to 
like un unload again. So you can ask me a second here if you do this first. Like that, then you save about half a second. But anyway, it doesn't probably much matter. Here, 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 here. Move this knob here. Here. Oh. oh, I didn't hit that yet. Okay, well, that's something that can be pulled out. There. There. There, got the knob. Put that out. Not for sure. You can probably put the bar whole barrel out. Um, that can come off. Ah, God! <laughs> if you really want to go fast, there's sacrifices. Seriously, I want to go back and see if I actually clicked that. I think I hit the right place, but sometimes it doesn't really trust you, and it's like, no, you actually clicked on this piece. It's like, no, I know I didn't actually. I did not click on that piece, but <laughs> but I value your opinion, game. Sometimes you just have to pretend that the game was right and move on with your life, which sucks because the game was wrong and you were right. But you can't really say anything to the game, so. Pull the bolt, that's loose, and I pull this. Let me pull up this and this. I pulled out all those. Okay, so now here. See, that time it let me do what I wanted, but. No? God damn, now I'm getting too fast for my own good. Just gotta slow down and pay attention. Like, you, it's fun. Like, where else could you get, like, this much thinking about what you have to do next? It's pretty much the best game about linear, I'm not linear thinking, but like procedural, like what piece has to be disassembled next. It's really good in that way. And I didn't even pull up that one, that'd be a good one to pull out right away as well. Usually I totally dismantle these sites together and then I get these like just like that. And then you get to start getting yourself messed up about which runs you've done what. That gets me all the time. Like, oh, in this run I did that, but not in this run. And it becomes even more complicated. Okay. So those two, so I can pull this one out, and I can pull the bolt out. When the bolt comes out, I can do this one and this one. I can do this one, this one. And the clip, and now that this is out, I can pull this one out, do that, pull out the trigger, pull out that, pop out the safety, look good there, flip back around, sear, sear, okay, don't, don't miss that pin this time. If I click on that wrong thing, okay. If I click on that screen again, I'd probably have to start smashing stuff because I'd be so upset I couldn't go on with my life otherwise. Here, and what am I missing? Just, oh, didn't pull that one out. No. That. Well, else did I do? Oh, oh, it's just that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so put that back on here. And I feel like I could do it even faster. I feel that was kind of slow. I don't know what you guys thought, but I thought that was kind of slow. That's right now I'm going really slow, but I want to make sure this gets back together correctly. No? Oh, that has to get back together. And then you do stupid things like that, trying to go too fast. 
and you screw up your whole thing and you have to start all over. So this will be a half an hour video and you, I don't blame you guys for skipping around or skipping the whole thing if you're not that interested in it. But now I can actually improve my time. So it's like a, just a like a, like a, hmm? Now I wasn't thinking, now I was talking. I was talking about like, you you get megalomatic. It's like, I can improve that time. It's like, I didn't, don't really need to improve my time that much because I think the fastest time was like six minutes. But you just get crazy. It's like, you just want to improve your time for your own sake. It's like a self-improvement kind of thing. But that's also what makes the game fun. Because you can always improve, pretty much. Practically always can improve. Um, is it this one. That's taken apart. Put this out, that one. That pin. This one. Pull up the ginty. Pull up the barrel. Pull up that one. I didn't move the knob yet. So move the knob. That's out so I can move this. That out I can move the sears. Mm. What? That I forget oh, I forgot to pull up the bolt. Silly, silly me. Now you just get- that's that confusion thing of like, you've done it four times now, so now you don't remember which pieces you've done, so you have to think of even harder about which run you're even on in your head. Now that's what makes it harder. Don't even remember what run you're on. <laughs> just this bolt is what's getting me heavy. Like, pretty much every failure has been regarding this bolt. I guess I forgot that piece once. But it's kind of different. I can pull up that now. I probably need a Pikinti as well. That that was probably risky, but hey, I live for risks. And you guys are like, no, no more risks, please. We're tired of risks. Just want to see the completion. Okay, maybe they pulled the bolt this time, eh? Any genius? Okay, so now we got that. And it's out, it's good, we're good. Okay, go here. No? No, because we forgot to pull out the the pin, but we never got it that far last time because we forgot to pull the bolt. It's lots of fun. Like you learn so much and then you relearn it. And then you're like, I guess I could probably take part just going with my eyes closed at this point. I just probably couldn't do it perfectly because I can't even do it purposely with my eyes open in six minutes. But that's mostly because you're trying to disassemble a gun in four minutes. That's part of it as well. And then I'm a then I want to do it perfectly and get like the super amazing awesome time, which doesn't really even matter because the guy who you're competing against is like. Probably just relaxed and did it in six minutes rather than like stressed and stressed like you were doing. Just trying to do it faster, faster, faster possible every run. Can I pull out the knob? No, I didn't pull out the knob. The knob will lose you time if you don't pull it out early. So I pulled that out, I've got that. Pull the bolt. You can actually just learn that you can do those at the same time. Just in a minute ago. Just kind of cool knowledge to have. The sear, and then we'll have to remember to pull the care pin. I want to go further out because I don't want to click on that other one when I try to pull out this piece. So that's all of that. And pull up this here, here. Okay. I just have to wait for it to stop moving in a hardcore game, also, it will fail you, and you'll lose sniper, and then you'll yell at yourself again. Cause like, I thought it had stopped moving, but it really hadn't. And then you're angry at yourself. Then you hate yourself. It is just super fun. Eleven parts. But there's one there, I forgot. One. 
See, then you forget parts, then you're even farther behind. Because then you have no clue what parts you forgot. Then you're like, what parts did I forget? Because I have no idea. Hmm, so I think not bad. Oh, I did probably didn't pull the thing off the... This connector was not pulled off the trigger. Which is fine, because I can put this connector back on, put that back together, put the safety back in, then I can put the trigger back in, and I could put that back in. And I can put here, here, here. Probably could do that even. Wait for all that stuff to stop moving, put it in the mono foot pad. Put in the firing pin. There, hit here, hit here. Get those two going. Um, make sure you put that in, and you can put in the sear. Don't have to wait for that, that's a loss of time, but really I don't care. I just want to make sure it all gets done properly, because this is the hardest part. Just getting all this stuff back together. Okay, good. So now we're golden, we can just fly stuff back together, no problem. I don't think I even have to marry anything but a Pikinti back on. Remember that. And that can go back on. This can go back together. Go put the aperture back on. Put that back in. Put this back together. Sight. Muzzle. Carrier. Front sight. Rear sight. Am I ready for this? I think so. Only one way to find out, eh? And you guys are like, no, no more risks, please. Here. 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 Yep, we're golden. That's a fast swing assembly. It was a little bit faster because I wasted time putting in my bolt together, but I failed every other time on the bolt. 425. That has to get me first. If it doesn't, I would be really upset. Parker player expert champion. So there you go, guys. You watched for 37 minutes, but I did end up a champion. How much did I beat him by? Beat him by a second. So I was about to be very, very mad <laughs> when I didn't get that, but I did get it fast enough. Yeah, that guy completed in 255, but he was just cooking all over the place. 7 minutes with hints for MK390, whatever. Obviously, didn't have any idea. So, anyway, guys, thanks for coming out for more World of Guns, Guns Assembly, and we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later.